subscribe to simplified biology channel and press the bell icon to get notified when a new video is uploaded hello friends welcome to simplified biology today's topic is photoperiodism photoperiodism is the effect of light on flowering plants have two phases in the life cycle one is the vegetative phase where growth occurs and the other one is the reproductive phase in which flowering takes place. Now, when a plant is given an appropriate photoperiod or light condition, it switches from the vegetative phase to the reproductive phase. Garner and Allard first reported the effect of light on flowering in Maryland Mammoth, that is a variety of tobacco. And in Glycine Max, that is soya bean. Now, according to the requirement of light for flowering, plants have been divided into three types. Short day plants, long day plants and day neutral plants. We'll start with short day plants. Short day plants can also be referred as long night plants. Now in these plants, the dark period is very important for flowering. The dark period should exceed a critical length That is of 10 to 12 hours. Light has no effect on flowering in these plants. Now these plants can be made to flower when kept under complete darkness. if they are provided with sucrose. Showing that light is only required for the formation of food or photosynthesis and has no effect on flowering. So in short day plants, it is the dark period that is important for flowering. If the dark period is less than the critical length, no flowering is seen. And if the dark period exceeds the critical length, flowering occurs. And if during the long dark period, a flash of light is given in the middle of night, it will inhibit flowering. as it will convert the long night into two short nights. Example of short day plants are rice, sugarcane, tobacco, chrysanthemum, soya bean. Next, long day plants or short night plants. In these plants, the light period, also known as the photo period, is important for flowering. The light period should exceed the critical length of flowering. The critical length of 10 to 12 hours. Only then they will flower. Darkness has an inhibitory effect on flowering. The long day plant can be made to flower under short day conditions if the long dark period is made shorter than the light period. 
or in the long dark period a flash of light is given in the middle of the night that will break the long dark period into two short dark periods which can promote flowering so in long day plants it is the light period that is important for flowering the light period should exceed the critical length they these plants do not flower under short day conditions where the dark period is longer than the light period and they can be made to flower under short day conditions if a flash of red light is given or a flash of light is given in the middle of night as will it will break the long dark period into two short dark periods hence promoting flowering examples of long day plants are wheat oat spinach lettuce barley third the day neutral plants in these plants the length of the dark period or the photo period does not have any effect on flowering they will flower in all seasons example tomato cucumber maize the effect of light on flowering is due to the presence of a photoreceptive pigment called phytochrome discovered by hedrix and borthwick phytochrome exist in two forms pr and pfr form both of which are interconvertible the pr form during day gets converted into pfr or the pr form in the presence of red light that is of 600 to 700 nanometer gets converted into pfr form and during night the pfr slowly changes back into the pr or in the presence of far red light that is 710 to 800 nanometer the pfr changes back into the pr form it is the pfr form that is physiologically active during day the pr changes into pfr and during night the pfr changes back into the pr it is the pr form that causes flowering in short day plants while in long day plants it is the pfr form that causes flowering now in case of short day plants if a flash of red light is given during the middle of the night well the pr is pfr is being converted into pr all the pfr that has changed to pr reverts back hence inhibiting flowering and if a flash of red light is followed by a flash of far red light the effect of red light is reversed hence causing flowering this is in case of the short day plants photoperiodic induction is the appropriate photo period that is required to induce flowering the minimum number of appropriate photo periods required is 1 to 25 and the part of the plants that receives the stimulus are the leaves a plant having a single leaf when kept under the appropriate photo period can cause flowering now when the plant is kept under the appropriate photo period it is believed that a flowering hormone called florigen is produced which is transferred from the leaves to the shoot apices 
that causes flowering as it converts the vegetative buds into the floral buds that's all for today please do like subscribe and comment and also visit our website by clicking on the link given below thank you thank you for watching